Does this show that any progress has been made or, or simply that more efforts, more policy work needs to be done? It certainly does show that there's an enormous amount of work ahead, Heidi, to equalise pay, especially in the insurance and finance sector, which ranks second to construction in terms of pay disparity. This is the first time that companies of 100 employees or more have had their individual pay gaps made public by the Workforce, Workforce Gender Equality Agency, that data released overnight. Nationally, the gender pay gap, when you look at the median salary of bonuses as well as a base salary, that's at 19%. And if you look at the finance and insurance sector, the pay gap is 26.1%. Nationally, it means that women are getting paid about $18,000 Australian less than men each year. And of course, when I have spoken to the banks in the lead up to this data release, a lot of them has said, have said that they're making a lot of efforts in terms of getting women into more senior management positions and reeling in the gap in their individual workplaces. But it's fair to say that some of the big names in the finance sector in particular have pay gaps that are pushing 40%. Uh, that is similar, of course, to what's been reported in Japan since wage transparency measures came in over there as well. But it certainly does show that there is much work to be done. Yeah, Amy, to your point, I mean, I feel like every time we get out this sort of data, not just maybe in Australia, but, but on an international level, we kind of hear the same sort of thing, that you need to have more women that are being developed and retained and promoted into senior leadership positions. But is this really... A, a gender leadership gap or do you think on a like for like basis it also could be a case that perhaps women are just being paid less? So what all the banks have basically told me when we approach them ahead of the release of this data is that if you look at like for like uh, in the workplace, then that is not what the issue is. It's more that there is an issue in terms of the structure of certain workplaces. So some banks will say that they have a large proportion of women, for example, working in local branches or in customer service roles, and those roles are typically lower paid. Some banks say they're really making an effort to elevate women to senior leadership positions. It should be mentioned, though, of course, that in this round of data, at least, CEOs aren't popped into the data set. That's something that's going to come out over time. But yes, there is an argument from some that like for like is even, but it begs the question really about how much work uh, these companies are doing in elevating women to the more senior positions in their workforce and, and structurally what changes need to be made to try and even out these gaps.